Kieran, first of all, your, your reflections on last weekend and another win uh, under your tenure. Yeah, I was delighted really. Uh, it was always good to get the league fixture. I know we had the Barnsley game uh, postponed. So the girls were itching to get onto the field, as I mentioned previously. Um, and I thought we coped really well. Uh, it was always a challenge. We knew it was going to be a tough game and a test. And not, not even in terms of the opposition, we always knew that was going to happen. But in terms of the, the types of things that I'm demanding of the girls, you know, I think the girls have spoken as well about I am trying to be considerate about how much I try and embed in and the time frame to that so certainly to see some of those things come out in the game was really pleasing so yeah we knew it was going to be a tough game and I thought they equipped themselves really well and that gives me a lot of confidence you know I always felt coming into this that um, there was a lot of potential and just required a little bit of tweaking a little bit of support uh, instilling a little bit of confidence in them to know that they've what I believe got a lot more to give and then trying to create that framework where we can we can try and produce that and produce it consistently. It's always good to get that kind of psychological test as well, the fact that you were pegged back and having to respond to that and you go on and, and get the win. Yeah, and I said post-match that, that certainly I think the feeling was that a few months ago the girls maybe would have struggled to come back from that, even though the, the score would have been level. Um, so I suppose to, have the, to get the first goal gave us a nice cushion. I felt we, we could and should have gone on. But, you know, testament, uh, you know, I, I do think that Chorley put their bodies on the line uh, in certain occasions, uh, which is testament to them and, and, and their drive to, to kind of get something from the game. And then, then obviously we got pegged back from a set piece, which I was really disappointed with. Um, but I felt there was a little period of a momentum swing, which is standard. And it was really just about how we all managed that. That was a collaboration between the players as well. We discussed it at a break in the game, um, tweaked a couple of things, and then it it took uh, a little bit of time, but not too much time, for the momentum I felt to come back in our favour, uh, and then resulted in in a a really good winning goal uh, that was really all down to the players and a bit of innovation and creativity from from the corner. You um, in terms. Of the confidence within the group, does that feel like it is growing? Can you see that growing in, in, among them? So. Yeah, I'm. I'm very considerate about watching um, and assessing, you know, assessing body language, assessing environment, uh, atmosphere, and I mean, I can't speak for for w w how it's been before because I don't know, um, but certainly from looking at, at how I see things today. Uh, I see a group of players that feel that this is a good place to be, uh, feel that we're trying to do something. Uh, and I always say time will tell and, and actions speak louder than words. So it's about everybody remaining accountable, staff and players, uh, on a consistent basis and a regular basis. And then ultimately we add all of those things up and then we see a, 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 a process of progress really. Got a fairly unexpected game this weekend, a rearranged fixture, the trip up to uh, Chester Street. What would have been your plan for this week rather than preparing for a game? What would you have been looking for? Oh, it would have been hard training. That's what it would have been because, you know, listen, we, were, we didn't realise the game was coming until short notice, uh, which is fine. Uh, we knew there was a tough game coming up early January against Leeds. And it just, uh, there would have been a, a period of, of training to be able to continue to embed the, the principles that we want to. Uh, we don't get a lot of time with the girls and they've really embraced uh, you know, the amount of things that we want to try and do in a short space of time. So it would have been much more of the same, but I, I always say I love game day, competitive fixtures is, is a winner every day of the week. So you know, we'll just go again, we'll, we'll adopt the same mindset and preparation as we did do for last week and incidentally leading up to the, the Barnes game that ended up being called off. Um, and I'm looking forward to another tough game. I think they haven't played a league fixture in a while, and so they'll be really, really motivated to, to get some points um, and, and climb up the table. So that brings its own challenges our way, and we have to be psychologically ready for that. But then we have to settle down into following the process, uh, following the, the kind of concepts that we've put in place to try and 
normalize that mental output from them during a the game to be able to process what's going on and make those good decisions. The more good decisions we make, then then it's going to be a success. We can't always define the uh, the results, but but certainly we can define what success looks like, and that's all about that process. And another opportunity to to really build some momentum ahead of this mini break that we've got. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't uh, keen on having such a long period of time between games because we want to play games, love playing games. Um, but it gives us an opportunity uh, a bit closer to the next game after the the new year, uh, and allows for us to just continue to. You know, give us an opportunity to show what we're trying to do to the to everybody else externally as well, as well as breeding that confidence internally. So it's it's an opportunity for everybody to go again in what will be a competitive fixture, and and we'll see. You know, we'll we'll see what we've got on the day. Keeping you on your toes in women's football, obviously these fixtures that can be re- uh, rearranged at the very last minute. Yeah, I mean, listen, I've been in the game uh, in different facets for a long, long time. So, you know, it's a standard practice, really. So um, we'll just listen. The, the good thing is, is we've got a, a great set of staff here that, you know, are, are going over and above to try and create the right environment and pretty adaptable. So when these things happen, we're, we're on the ball with it. So it's not really an issue. Um, we're just keen to to get going and, and continue. I mean, I, I've always said I'd play games every day if I could. Um, and as long as we have that mentality, that preparation will always be there. So, yeah, really looking forward to it, and the girls are too.